Palestinians in the Jordan Valley complain that Israel has increased home demolitions in this area since Middle East peace talks resumed last year. Following the destruction of their property, some have no other choice than to move their families into tents. When asked about the reasons for which Israel is interested in controlling this land, local Palestinian farmers have no doubts. The Jordan Valley represents a quarter of the West Bank, which is Palestinian territory under international law. It borders with Jordan to the east. Its strategic location is reason enough to insist on retaining control over parts of this land in case of an agreement. That's what the former deputy head of Israel's National Security Council says. We don't speak about ruling somebody else in this case after the agreement. We speak about how do you integrate intelligence and security to make sure that this line will be a security line or a security, some kind of a border of the Palestinian state and the Israeli state at the same time. Palestinian officials have called this a bogus argument. They accuse Israel of looking for ways to maintain its forces in and around Palestine. So Israel is saying its security requires that it stay in Palestine, which means the whole system of control, which Israel brought into being as a result of an unaccountable and cruel occupation, is going to continue even after a peace agreement and with Palestinian acquiescence. Some 10,000 Israeli Jews live in dozens of settlements in the valley. This farmer explains that many of them have businesses here. The date plantation he manages generates considerable sales. It's business that talks about millions of uh, shekels, millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So you're making millions of dollars off of a date plantation? Yes. Every year? Yes. Palestinians know that unrestricted access to local resources would undoubtedly boost their ailing economy. But that requires sovereignty over these fertile lands.